Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you switching in computer networks. In general, there are three categories of switching. One is packet switching, second is circuit switching, third is message switching. See, with packet switching, we are having further two categories, datagram switching and visual circuits. See, this datagram, that is what we, right now we are using in computer network. Like we are using IPv4 and IPv6. So, that is what using packet switching as per datagram. While with earlier version of internet, that was based on visual circuits where ATM protocol that was there. ATM means asynchronous transfer mode. Right now, we are using internet protocol along with packet switching. Circuit switching that was implemented way back in 1960s and 1970s in which telephone networks those were been there as per circuit switching. Message switching, that is what we are using it in military application as well as in satellite communication. I will explain you all these categories along with practical examples. Let me explain you first how we have circuit switching. So, circuit switching that was used way back in 1960s and 70s in telephone network. Let me explain you how this circuit switching works. There are four steps. Before I explain you all four steps, let me give you one practical example. For example, as if I want to communicate somebody in US in 1960s, right? In that case, I used to call network admin. So, first I need to dial up network admin. Network admin will receive my uh, request. And if I tell network admin, like I just want to communicate to somebody in US in California, then network admin will establish setup. And once setup is established, network admin will provide dedicated path in between source and destination. Once path is provided, two people can communicate on call. Once call is getting terminated, network admin will terminate the call. See, that is how things were there. Now, let me explain you how it is happening by four steps. See, first is call setup. So, the circuit switched network sets up a dedicated path between source and destination. So, as I have told you, first person will be requesting network admin. And once network admin receives that request in which you will be saying like to whom you want, you want to call. Like what is the location and what is the exact address. So, first you will be saying them like I just want to talk to somebody in US. So, for US there will be dedicated code. In US again there will be state so for state again there will be dedicated code like in surat dedicated code was 0261 right likewise with california also there will be some dedicated code so that is how initially call setup will happen and that will happen as per circuit switched network see there is a difference in between routing and circuit switched network i'll explain you what is the difference right now just consider there will be circuit switched network right after that connection establishment will happen that connection establishment that will be done by network admin so network admin network admin will communicate over here with intermediary network admins the reason is from india to usa in between there will be intermediary network admin like for example here network admin of india is there here there is a network admin of europe and here there is a network admin of usa so, that communication will happen in between network admin and network admin will provide connection like this. So, this is what circuit switched connection. Once this connection is provided, you can say connection establishment is happening. Here, during call setup, this is happening and in which you will be observing network, the network reserves the necessary resources. What are those resources? Bandwidth and duration of call. So, here, Source and destination will be utilizing bandwidth of this link. Source and destination, they will be utilizing bandwidth of this link. And this connection is provided for finite duration. So, for that amount of duration only, these two people can communicate with each other. So, here there is a physical switched network. That is how it is there, right? So, physical connection was there. That's why it is circuit switched network. Once connection is provided, Data transmission can be done. Data transmission means usually we were been having voice call only, right? So, data transmission that we were been doing in 1960s and 1970s. And 
once call is completed there there should be call termination and remember in data transmission here there is no header like in in internet protocol with ipv4 and with ipv6 we are having additional information that we call it as header so here this header is not available with circuit switch network right here only data will be there after completion of data transmission there will be call termination and in call termination this dedicated resources those are freed up for those users right so now this link that can be provided to other users right so this is how things were happening and because of here network admin interface was there and here there was service based communication that call uh, call was very costly in earlier days of 1960s and 1970s here you need to understand one more thing that is useful to you to understand how much time is required for call so see here message time is setup time so setup time means person is talking to network admin and network admin is registering request and based on request it will set up the connection so that is setup time after setup time there will be transmission time transmission time means here as if i say message size that is m and divided by bandwidth right so size of message divided by bandwidth that is what transmission time then plus propagation time propagation time means this distance divided by velocity plus tear down time tear down time means call termination time so once call is terminated this links are available for other users so that is how total time will be there with circuit switching right now let me explain you packet switching so in packet switching we are having two categories one is datagram switching and that is what applicable for internet protocol like we have seen with ipv4 and ipv6 packet switching is happening where whatever data that we forward that forwarding is happening along with fragmentation right so that is what datagram switching in which at different links size of message may change it depends on which protocol is happening like with like with ethernet protocol maximum size of frame that will be 1500 bytes along with data right and with wi-fi it changes with token ring it changes so here a datagram switching happens with ipv4 and ipv6 and that happens via routers so here routers will be taking decision for path right here there is no fixed circuit here based on algorithms routers are defining path so here data forwarding happens based on router and this is unreliable why it is unreliable the reason is here there is no such thing like feedback or acknowledgement so as acknowledgement is not there source and destination they are not having idea about whether this frame is received over here or not it may get corrupted in between the reason is here there is no well defined fixed path while with circuit switching first there was connection establishment because of that it was reliable right while with packet switching with packet switching these are the routers these are not switch now these are routers with packet switching in which router will route the frame and that frame size that even varies with respect to protocol right so it is possible like if i say here we are having this much size of message so it may get bisected into two messages over here it may get bisected into three messages over here it may get bisected over here into four messages over here and destination will receive it and destination will combine this four messages and it will say okay i have received this message right but here feedback will not be given that's why this is unreliable and this is connectionless it is purely based on the routing algorithm right while second one is visual circuits see in visual circuits in visual circuits atm is there asynchronous transfer mode with earlier version of internet people were been having atm protocol in which we were been sending first packet as header this first packet that was used to establish connection like for example here source and destination is there so source will be sending header first now this header now this header that may go via one single path right that may go via one single path so that path says what that path says 
this is the path via which we need to communicate and once you define this path for same path all the packets all the packets that will be getting transmitted over here so here resource reservation is happening right so in order data forwarding will happen and this is reliable and connection oriented see this datagram switching that is not reliable it is not based on connection oriented it is connection less while this visual circuits or you can say atm so that is reliable as well as connection oriented switching right now last category that i would like to explain you that is message switching see message switching that we use it in military applications and in satellite communication nowadays also message switching is used but not not used for commercial application it is used for military application right and its working is quite interesting see how it works it works based on complete message store and forward for example if i say right now here we are having one message right here we are having one message so what happens is here there is no fragmented fragmentation of this message while it is getting propagated over here now see how it happens first this message will go to any of this three routers right it will go to let us say over here so once it goes over here what happens is this message this message is getting stored over here first complete message is getting stored over here after that this router will take decision in to which router this message should be forwarded here there is one connection so it is getting forwarded over here again it is getting stored over here once it is getting stored here it will be forwarded to any of these two routers it may be forwarded over here this router will store this and then this router will give it to destination over here so complete message store and forward that happens over here and because of that you can understand see no segmentation is there while with while with datagram switching which comes under packet switching there will be fragmentation of data right there will be fragmentation of data while in case of message switching there is no fragmentation of data complete file that is getting forwarded it will be stored at the device and then there will be next hope where complete file will be available over here so there is no point of data loss right so you can say high reliability is there and there are some issues even like this switching is slower in speed and it is having higher transmission cost and it doesn't support real time application that you can easily understand why the reason is complete message that is getting stored here and then forwarded so obviously real time application is not possible in real time application everything will happen in the real time here store and forward store and forward is happening so obviously some delay will be there and because of delay is there you can say it is slower in speed transmission cost is high but it doesn't supports real time application as well right so that is how this categories are there i hope you have understood this till if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video